Hello. Picking up from the multi tap delay, here's one I've just made. Um, sounds like this. <laughs> that little clip of voice the loop effects are what comes back as feedback from the output of the taps so each round of delay gets sent back and pitch shifted this time obviously pitch shifted up a number of semitones but the tap effects themselves each one has a detune element going up, a format shift, and then also a frequency shifter, again with a slightly different random set of shifts. The difference between frequency shifter and pitch shifter is something you should check out in the manual. Pitch shifter is obviously to do with keys on the keyboard, frequency is to do with more spectral content. The nice thing or the interesting thing about this is if you added say a reverb you've got a reverb per tap. So you could set a different set of times. So let's say I set tap number three to be really long. Tap one. Oh that's pre-delays. My bad time tap three and the last one tap we go to tap eight and you can do this all either with these variables um, up here or by clicking on the taps themselves you see how the color changes here when you move from tap to tap let's set that one to be long as well so <coughs> if maybe the other taps we just turn off so we can hear tap three and eight That's quite cool. Uh, like all these effects, it could get hugely cliched, uh, but it, this is a fun effect that you could spend a lot of time generating delay-based effects that could go back into other effects. Um, and I'm guessing most of these parameters could be automated as well, which is a nightmare, but uh, it's a very, very interesting effect.